guys, all here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Model 3 Lesson 21 homework. So let's get started. Number one, solve 35 divided by 2 using an area model. Use long division and the distributive property to record your work. All right, so 35 divided by 2. Let's do our area model. Our area model would look like this. We first start off with a rectangle. And over here on the side, we write 2 since that is our divisor. That is the number that we're dividing by. The number we're dividing is 35. So first we break it apart and we look at the tens. So what we wanna do is we wanna think how many tens of two can go into 35. So 10 of two, that's 20. We had to skip count by 20 until we can't go anymore. So first we have 20 and then 40. 40 is too much, which, mean, which means 20 is the most we can go. So first 20, and 20 divided by two is 10. And now we go to the ones. So after 20, we have 15 left. But if we know our multiplication facts, we know the closest that two can get to 15 would just be 14. So 14 divided by two is seven. And since it was 15 originally, now we have 14, we have one remaining. So you want to draw it on the side like that. So now we have 10 plus 7 is 17. Our great 17. Which means our answer will be 17 remainder 1. But use long division to check our work. So 35 divided by 2. 2 goes 1 time into 3. Minus 2. 1 left over. Bring down the 5, so that's where we got the 15. 2 goes 7 times into 15. Minus 14 is 1 with the number. So 17 remainder 1. That's the remainder. Distributed property would look like this. First, we do 20 divided by 10. And we add that 14 divided by... Um, oh, did I write divided by 10? 20 divided by 2. Then 14 divided by 2. Now give us 10 plus 7, which is 17. And we can't forget about that remainder. So 17 remainder 1 is our answer. All right, now let's look at number 2. Solve 79 divided by 3 using an area model. Use long division and the distributed property to record your work. 79 divided by 3. All right, so our area model divided by three. So how many tens of three goes into 79? So we skip, skip count by 30s. First we have 30, and after 30 we have 60, and then 90. 90 is too much, which means we have to go back to 60. So break it apart, we have 60, and 60 divided by three is 20. Now we have 60 here, that leaves us 19 left, because 79 minus 60 is 19. So, we know that 3 times 6 is 18, which is pretty close to 19. So we can write 18 here and 6 here. And 18 is 1 away from 19, which means we have a remainder of 1. Now let's do our long division. 79 divided by 3. 3 goes 2 times into 7, that's 6. Minus 6 is 1, bring down the 9. 3 goes 6 times into 19, it's minus 18. One left over. So 26 remainder 1. That's where we got 26 because 20 plus 6 is 26 remainder 1. A distributed property would look like 60 divided by 3 plus 18 divided by 3, which will give us 20 plus 6, which is 26 remainder 1. So that is our answer. All right, number three, Paulina, solve the following division problem by drawing an area model. What division problem did she solve? So right away, we can tell our divisor would be four because that's the number on the side. So it's something divided by four. All right, and so to find our dividend first, 
what we have to do is add up the numbers and the little sections thing because like we did in the previous problems our dividend we would break it apart in our area model so that's what they're doing here so to find our dividend we put it back together so 40 plus 40 is 80 and 80 plus 16 is 96 so 96 but notice how we have two left over remainder of two so 96 plus 2 is 98 which means our dividend will be 98 divided by our divisor, which is 4. And our answer, so now I have to act like we're solving the problem using the area model. First, 40 divided by 4 is 10. I'm going to write that up here, 10. And 4 divided by 4 again, that's 10. 16 divided by 4 is 4. So we have 10 plus 10 plus 4, which is 24 the remainder of two left over. So that's the problem that Paulina solved. All right, B says, show how Paulina's model can be represented using the distributed property. All right, so first 40 divided by four plus 40 divided by four. And then we have 16 divided by four. 40 divided by 4 is 10, plus 4 divided by 4 again, that's 10, plus 16 divided by 4, which is 4. 10 plus 10 plus 4, that's 24, and our remainder of 2. So this is our answer. Next page. Alright, solve the following problems using the area model. Support the area model with long division or the distributed property. All right, so number four, 42 divided by three. Straw area model. Divide by three, so we put three on the side. 42, so how many tens of three can go into 42? Skip count by 30, we have 30 and then 60. 60 is obviously too big. So the most we can go is 30. And 30 divided by 3 would be 10. After 30, that leaves us 12 left. And we know right away that 3 times 4 is 12. So 10 plus 4 is 14, which means 14 would be our answer. And we can check using long division or distributed property. Let's do distributed property. So first we have 30 divided by 3 plus 12 divided by 3, which is 10 divide, or not divide, 10 plus 4, which is 14. So 14 is our answer. Number 5. Now we have 43 divided by 3. So it's pretty much the same except our dividend increased by one. So let's draw our area model, divide by three. We know the most we can go is 30 because 60 is way too big. 30 divided by three is 10. And that'll leave us 13 left over, but 13 is not a multiple of three, but 12 is, so we can go back to 12. And 3 times 4 would um, go, um, 3 times 4 is 12. But since it was 13, that means we have one remaining, remainder of 1. So we can check using, let's see, long division. Let's see long division. 43 divided by 3. 3 goes 1 time into 4. One left over. Bring down the 3. 3 goes 4 into 13. Minus 12. We have 1 left over. So 14 remainder of 1 is our answer. Alright. Number 6. 52 divided by 4. 52 divided by 4. This is our area model. Put 4 on the side. So how many tens of 4 can go into 52? 40. So we have to skip count by 40. 
we have 40 and next would be 80 but 80 is way too big so 40 is the most we can go and 40 divided by 4 is 10. that will leave us 12 left over and we know 4 times 3 is 12. so 10 plus 3 is 13 our answer is 13 but let's check with distributor property 40 divided by 4 plus 12 divided by 4. 40 divided by 4 is 10, plus 12 divided by 4 is 3. So our answer would be 13. All right, number 7, 54 divided by 4. All right, so 54, let's draw our area model. Put 4 on the side. We know the most we can go is 40, because 80 is too big. 40 divided by 4 is 10. And now we have 14. So the most 4 can go into 14 is 3 times, which is 12. And 14 minus 12 is 2, which means we know our remainder will be 2. But 12 divided by 4 is 3. So let's check with long division. 54 divided by 4. 4 goes 1 time into 5 minus 4 left over. Bring down the 4. 4 goes 3 times into 14, minus 12, 2 left over. So our answer is 13, remainder 2. All right, number 8, 61 divided by 5. Divide by 5, so we put 5 on the side. How many tens of 5 can go into 61? We know that 5 times 10 is 50. So we skip count by 50. 50, and then next would be 100. 100 is too big, so 50 is the most we can go. Okay, 50 divided by 5, that's 10. After 50, we have 11 left over. But 5 can't go into 11, but it can go into 10. And that will give us 2. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So then that will give us a remainder of 1, since 10 is 1 away from 11. Our answer should be 10 plus 2, which is 12, remainder 1. But let's check with distributive property. 50 divided by 5 plus 10 divided by 5, which is 10 plus 2, that's 12, with our remainder of 1. So that is our answer. All right, and number 9, 73 divided by 3. 73 divided by 3. Let's do our area model. Divide by 3. So how many tens of 3 can go into 73? So first we have 30, and then 60, and then after 60 is 90. So 90 is too big, so let's go back to 60. 60 divided by 3 is 20. So after 60, we have 13 left over until we reach 73. And 3 can't go into 13, but it can go into 12. So we'll have a remainder of 1, since 12 is 1 away from 13. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. So our answer should be 24 with the remainder of 1. Let's check with long division. 73 divided by 3. 3 goes 2 times into 7. 6. It's 1. Bring down the 3. 3 goes 4 times into 13. Minus 12, so I have 1 left over. 24, remainder 1. Alright, next page, number 10. 97 lunch trays were placed equally into 4 stacks. How many lunch trays were in each stack? How many lunch trays will be left over? 97 divide up into 4 stacks. So how many lunch trays are in each stack? Alright, let's do our area model. We're dividing by 4, so we put 4 on the side. How many tens of 4 can go into 97? We have 40, and then next would be 80, and next would be 120. 120 is too big, so 80 is the most we can go. And 80 divided by 4 is 20. So after 80, we have 17 left over. Um, we know 4 can go into 16 4 times. So then we'll have a remainder of 1. 
you can check with distributed property. 80 divided by 4 plus 16 divided by 4. 80 divided by 4 is 20, plus 16 divided by 4 is 4. 20 plus 4 is 24, so our answer is 24, remainder 1. That means, so let's see, there'll be, there are 24 trays in each stack with one tray left over. Okay. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.